fellow Broncos. I'm Mora, and I'm here to tell you about Cal Poly Pomona's Interdisciplinary General Education Program, better known as IGE. Because all students at Cal Poly need to take GE courses in order to graduate, IGE offers a stimulating way to fulfill many of your requirements in writing, the humanities, and the social sciences. We are unique in that we offer small classes which focus on discussions and project-based learning activities. IGE is also different because, though our courses are still rigorous, there are no lectures, tests, or quizzes. One of our main goals is to create a community of connected learners who work closely together in the pursuit of knowledge across disciplines. We do this through reading, writing, watching films, attending art events, doing research and creative projects, and discussing ideas deeply in class. Instead of tests, professors evaluate papers, projects, and participation. And because we have small classes, professors can devote their attention to individual students. To see the many interesting themes covered in IGE, check out our webpage. Now to get into IGE, if you are college English eligible, you start off your very first semester by taking IGE 1100. If you need to take English stretch first, no problem. Simply enroll in IGE 1200 in spring of your first year. You'll substitute your English credit for IGE 1100. As far as AP and IB credit from high school, we honor your hard earned scores and allow you to skip certain courses and finish IGE. For a breakdown of what areas IGE fulfills, the first year of the program, students get credit for their A2, which is written communication, and C2, literature and modern languages. The second year sequence, which begins sophomore year, students fulfill C1, which is visual and performing arts, and the other C2, philosophy and civilization, which are the remaining lower division humanities courses. The third year sequence will fulfill the social sciences requirements in D1, which is US history, constitution, and American ideals, and D3, which is Sociology, Anthropology, Ethnic, and Gender Studies. Students can opt to take the second and third year sequences at the same time during their sophomore year. And finally, the last class in our IGE sequence, our capstone seminar covers an upper division synthesis requirement of your choosing, fulfilling either C3 or D4 credit. IGE is open to all majors. Please check with your advisor to discuss the IGE option if you're interested. Have a great orientation experience, and we hope to see you in IGE this fall. We'll save you a seat. Thank you.